Good morning from the GSM workshop. And oh my goodness, I need a haircut. <laughs> One of the things in South House isolation and social distancing, we can't get haircuts anymore. I might have to let my wife loose on it or something like that, heaven forbid. Or I'll just let it go longer or I'll get a buzz cut. Anyway, back to more serious stuff. TVR Litchfield, uh, Range Rover Litchfield update. So, last video I sent out was I showed you the, the body engineless and nothing in it. Now, uh, we have a car in the workshop and I'll show you um, what, I'm, what I got in here now and what my plans are with this one. Uh, we're going to go on. I'll just put you on pause, turn the camera around and I'll show you the workshop. So now I have the other Range Rover in here. And this one, body-wise, is in very good condition. It's dirty right now, but rust-wise, she's pretty rust-free. I uh, just want to show you how I got it in here, because the engine does run, but there's no transmission. The transmission isn't working for some reason. Um, that's why I took the, the transmission out of the other one as well, so I can replace it all. So, to get it in, I made up an ingenious system, because my drive... Out of here is on a bit of a slope, and it was a bit of a pain. It'd be a pain to get up here. So you see a axle strap there, and you see some aircraft cable, and it went to a pulley just here, and the cable went around the pulley, and we used a truck to pull it up into the workshop which actually worked quite well. So I permanently, well, it's not permanent. I can take out the concrete bolt here so I can use this for future projects as well. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, this is the condenser out of the other Range Rover for the air conditioning. So workshop's a little bit of a mess. You'll see the cat looking very pretty. I had to move her out yesterday but I moved the other car in. And I'll be taken out for a run this afternoon I am starting to get some cabin fever here, <laughs> being in isolation. We're lucky here in Alberta, we can still go for drives um, as well. Um, I need to take some photographs. Um, I am a professional photographer, so I need to do some of that work as well. I've got some old grain elevators I want to take pictures of. Oh, I was going to show you these. These are the uh, summer tires for the Mini Cooper. I'll be putting those on later on today as well. Anyway, that's a quick tour of a workshop. Anyway, go back to the Range Rover. Here we have the engine bay. Um, it is very dirty. I'm kind of getting tripped up on cable here. Uh, it's just dirty. It's not rusted out. Uh, a little bit of rust here, I noticed. I can replace that. It's easy to fix. But otherwise, compared to the other one, she's in pretty good condition. It's just dirty and hasn't been ran for a very long time. So this engine's coming out. This is a 4.2 litre Rover engine. Uh, I do have a plan for this engine, uh, if I don't sell it, I am also restoring a 1972 MGB. I kind of get in the inkling of putting this engine in the 72 MGB. <laughs> we'll see. That's future future project and video coming up. Um, I do have all the air intake for it. Um, I just used, took this off to squirt some starter fluid in to make sure the engine was running in it. It was just running quite nice, but it's just no transmission. Uh, yeah, tatty soundproofing. No big deal. Uh, it's just dirty from sat outside. Interior. It's not bad. The seats, this seat's about it. I can recolor the seat here. Uh, recondition the lever. Wood, uh, it's not that good, some bits, but I got a spare set of wood from the other car. Actually, I actually got a whole interior. Uh, the headlining, I don't know if you can see it, is sagging, but in the other one it's not sagging, so the plan is to take this headlining out, replace it with the other headlining. Uh, but otherwise, it's not bad in here. I think a, a good detail, shampoo the carpets, replace the wood trim. I'll refurbish it, one or the other. Um, it's got horrible, you can see me now. It's got tint in the back. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, it's kind of purpley, but it's kind of faded. 
uh, I'll be replacing this. Oh, it's even starting to peel off. Ah, good. Okay. <laughs> Get rid of this purpley tint. I'll put some proper tint in here. My son's really good at doing tinting work. Um, as you can see, the headline is all saggy. Yeah. Let's just see, it's a bit dark, but this is all saggy. Typical. This is typical Range Rover, actually, and Land Rover, where it just sags, comes unstuck. So I'm going to replace that. Back seats are pretty good. Getting a bit tight around the back now, uh, but again, this tailgate is in pretty good condition and the window's in good condition. Put new vinyl on here. It's peeling away. That's about it. Uh, under, underneath, I have some rust here, which is an easy, fairly easy fix. I can chop this out and put a new, put a whole new piece of steel in here. There will be any uh, glass fiber on this one. So, I'll just put a look around the other side. It's all nice and straight. One of the things that really tickles me is <laughs> the size of the, the panel gaps in these cars. <laughs> I can put my finger through here. This is typical. Um, same here. It just, anyway. anyway, less said about that, but it's typical. So, yeah, so I got this in yesterday. It was a bit of hard work. My neighbors came over and helped. Uh, we have some really close neighbors. This is a real quiet neighborhood, small town. Um, none of us are going anywhere. We all kept our distances and helped putting this one in. I'm glad of that. So, just a quick update what's going on in here. Um, yeah, you see the XK8. I will be taking it out this afternoon for a run, like I said. I'll be doing about uh, 200 kilometers in it. Uh, Going to go to a place called Warner. All quiet roads, country roads uh, on here. Another thing I did finish, I'll do a separate video on this. I actually got the little Atlas lathe working in the workshop as well. So, there she goes. Burning sweet. And you'll see some chips. And if you're British, they're called Swarf here. I made up a shelf, got my toolboxes and the tools for it. Otherwise, the shop's a bit of a mess, and my job today is to tidy up a workshop. So, thanks for watching. That's a, just a quick update. Stay safe. Please like and su subscribe. Uh, it all helps. Gives me encouragement to make more videos. The, uh, the TVR Litchfield Range Rover will, should be progressing quite rapidly now. A few little jobs to do on it. Oh, I didn't mention the... Uh, the door handle on this one is broken. I've got a spare door handle, obviously. I've got a lot of spares. I'm going to be re replacing that. I'll probably do that today. And I have the wood trim out of the form, which isn't too bad. But I'd like to refurbish it anyway. Anyway, that's the update. Stay safe. Next video coming up soon. Bye for now.